Cantrell was born October 20th, 1999 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Cantrell, otherwise known as NBA Youngboy, at a very young age ran into a life-threatening injury that put him in a head brace. This head brace left the famous permanent dents in his forehead as you see here. Childhood was rough for NBA Youngboy. With family passing, Cantrell was introduced to the streets in high school as a way of providing for himself. NBA Youngboy then dropped out of high school in the ninth grade as he was arrested for robbery and sent to a detention center in Louisiana. This would only be the start of the legal issues for Youngboy, but this was also the start of his music career. While in the detention center, Cantrell started writing lyrics for his first album. Once released from the center, he then hit the streets with his brother, trying to make money for studio time. This is when NBA Youngboy released his first mixtape titled Life Before Fame in 2015, then leading into his first mixtape to go viral in October 2016 titled 38 Baby. With NBA Youngboy growing rapidly online, he was able to secure features from other Baton Rouge natives such as Boosie and Kevin Gates. With the mixtape buzzing online, NBA Youngboy would then run into the start of many very serious legal problems. On November 28th, 2016, US Marshals arrested NBA Youngboy in Austin, Texas for two counts of attempting to take somebody's life. The incident actually happened in the past on November 2nd in 2016 in Louisiana. Sources claim that NBA Youngboy and another man hopped out of a vehicle that was parked with firearms and started lighting up a group of people on the 2000 block of Kentucky Street in Baton Rouge. Witnesses at the scene described it as a GTA type event happening in the middle of the street. Shortly after being officially charged and booked into jail, NBA Youngboy was taken into a separate jail as he was held on $200,000 bond. After spending almost seven months in jail, awaiting his trial to start, a court hearing was then granted, where NBA Youngboy ended up confessing to using a firearm multiple times during the drive-by that happened on the 2000 block of Kentucky Street. For NBA Youngboy confessing in court, the prosecutor offered a plea deal for Youngboy for a lesser charge in exchange for a guilty plea. The deal was that if NBA Youngboy pled guilty, the charges would then be reduced to one count of using a firearm in public. Rather Rather than the charges of attempting to take someone's life, this was a no-brainer for Youngboy. He confessed immediately and took the generous plea deal. Youngboy was then released on $50,000 bond. He was allowed to go home that day and went immediately to the studio. NBA Youngboy would then get arrested a few more times within the next couple of years. But the story never ends with him, as on May 17th in 2019, according to multiple news outlets, NBA Youngboy and his team were leaving a resort in Florida to perform at a festival in Miami. Reports say that around 1.30 p.m., firearms were used outside of the hotel after NBA Youngboy's team got into a heated argument with another group. Both parties exchanged firearm use and a total of three people were affected in the situation. Fun fact, it was later announced that in the court files, this case involved other rappers such as Fredo Bang, as he was on the opposing side of NBA Youngboy. Police arrested NBA Youngboy and they kept him in jail for questioning until getting later released on that night with no charges. With Florida having a stand your own ground law, NBA Youngboy claimed that this was a targeted attack against him, which all he did was defend himself against Fredo Bang. This then puts us into his most recent case. The court case begins on March 10th, 2021. As NBA Youngboy was charged with one count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, as well as one count of possession of a firearm that's not registered on the National Firearms Registration List, as NBA Youngboy was caught recording a music video out in the streets in a regular neighborhood Hood, flashing around firearms and using narcotics. An older lady who lives on the street quickly called the police as she was worried about her neighborhood. She would go on to describe it as 10 to 15 males standing around a vehicle, playing very loud music, recording a music video, flashing firearms around that had loaded high capacity magazines in them, and she was worried for her safety as well as her neighbors. After his arrest, a judge then ruled NBA Youngboy to be too reckless and dangerous as a human being to be released into the free world, but they will allow Youngboy to be released on house arrest. While on house arrest last year, NBA Youngboy was directed to bring himself into jail for the trial to begin. Well, the case started, NBA Youngboy was a no-show, and this means NBA Youngboy 
had a warrant out for his arrest, and knowing his prior's record that I shared earlier, law enforcement were not going to be taking this lightly, so they called the FBI to get involved. With the FBI getting involved, they created a search team called Never Free Again, and this is when the search for NBA Youngboy began. The FBI started by looking over the streets near NBA Youngboy's mansion, staking out his garage, making sure he doesn't leave through a back door. NBA Youngboy then was seen coming out of his garage, driving his vehicle. Once leaving his property, he then started hitting the highway. The FBI tailed him and directed him to pull his vehicle over to the side of the road. Allegedly, NBA Youngboy started to pull his car over. He went to a complete stop and waited for the FBI agent to stop as well. Once the agent stopped his vehicle and started opening up his car door, NBA Youngboy was seen then flooring it down the highway, ducking through traffic, trying to get away from the agent. NBA Youngboy then ran into traffic and made him drift off to the highway, hitting the regular streets, but then once again ran into even more traffic, which made Youngboy hop out of his vehicle and start a chase on foot. On this day, NBA Youngboy was seen wearing designer shoes, skinny jeans, a jacket, and multiple diamond chains, which probably isn't the best outfit from running from trained FBI agents in a canine unit. From the court files, the FBI and law enforcement claim that they used what's called a perimeter circle. They get intel on where NBA Youngboy would be as he took the chase on foot. They then create a massive circle around the area and start closing in on him bit by bit. Not to mention, they also even brought out a highly trained canine unit to scope him out. So while NBA Youngboy was on the run, he hopped a fence and started running through some house's backyard. Funny enough, this house's backyard ended up being a fan's backyard who took photos and video of NBA Youngboy running from the FBI. In the footage that I sadly can't share, you can hear the fan telling NBA Youngboy to run faster and that the agent was coming close to him. This is stuff you just can't make up and it would only happen to NBA Youngboy. NBA Youngboy would then end up getting arrested by the FBI agent taken into jail to await his trial to begin. And once again, having the best lawyers obviously helped NBA Youngboy as he was later then released once again on house arrest even though he started a high speed chase with the FBI. NBA Youngboy is currently on house arrest as we speak, with live-in security as directed by the courtroom. NBA Youngboy's lawyers are working around the clock trying to get his trial pushed back, which they successfully did to now May 16th, 2022. Doing whatever and anything to get him released, but while at the same time, with the feds creating an operation team just for NBA Youngboy titled Never Free Again, they're trying to put NBA Youngboy behind bars for 10 years in prison. With NBA Youngboy's trial being announced on May 16th, he will face a jury and judge for the federal firearms case. The maximum prison sentence for this case is seven years, and NBA Youngboy is obviously going to try to beat this case any way he can. And there is the story of NBA Youngboy.